All the great things about cappuccino, invented by the Capuchin monks. Delicious. It's true. I'm not. I'm not telling you any fits. I didn't know that. Yeah. So we're going to use some Calderdary milk. Okay. The finest coffee available. That's Small World Coffee, roasted in Princeton, New Jersey. Actually, Rocky Hill, but that's okay. Everybody will know Princeton. So when you're making cappuccinos or cappuccini, right? Well, that's a plural for cappuccino. You start by steaming your milk, which I'm doing real quick here with a digital thermometer so it's calibrated to get right where I want to get up to, 160 degrees. And then I'm going to make some espresso. We're going to mix equal parts, espresso and steamed milk, and make a delicious cappuccino for you. So we grind, don't grind the coffee ahead. See that there? Always oh, smells delicious when we get going. Take a look here. We're going to get this espresso going right here. And one of the things you're really going to always want to see is uh, delicious crema on the top of your espresso. So I'll keep my milk going. What we're going to see now is espresso pouring out. And that'll take us just over 20 seconds. Now, Italians would drink a cappuccino in the morning and an espresso in the evening. Uh, Americans drink cappuccinos all day long. And that's fine for me, it doesn't matter. But traditionally, you would have this drink in the morning and espresso after lunch and dinner. Okay. So there's that crema on top there, right? You can see that. So now we're just going to pour our milk in here. And end up with a delicious cappuccino. And we'll just put on a little saucer there. Beautiful. There we go. Thanks for coming in.